Imagine you have a tornado bearing down on you. Last minute, it turns left. Then boom, another tornado is right behind it. Then a third. That's what happened Wednesday night in Oklahoma. Tornadoes danced a rare dance known as the Fujiwara. Now, the Fujiwara effect is a real thing. It's the tendency of low pressure systems to orbit one another. It's most commonly observed with hurricanes and tropical cyclones in the Northwest Pacific, but can happen in any ocean basin or with any low pressure system. Here's a dead in Sirocco in 2021. Usually a pair of cyclones will orbit a common center before the weaker one is absorbed into the circulation of the stronger. It can happen with large scale low pressure systems at the mid latitudes too. Here's an example from April 27, 2011 during the tornado outbreak. Notice two distinct counterclockwise swirls, one eventually swirling north of the other. But things get much more fascinating on the a smaller scale. Now there's an expression within meteorology that spin begets spin. What that means is big spin tends to have littler spin inside. Let's start at the synoptic scale, the big sprawling low pressure systems at the mid latitudes. They obviously spin. Within that larger scale system though, we have smaller mesoscale low pressure systems. Some are caused by local topography, others are the leftovers of thunderstorms. Those ones are called mesoscale convective vortices. Here's an example of one caused by thunderstorms, that remnant swirl pattern through several states. Others stem from vorticity maxes, or lobes of enhanced spin, at the core of a broader mid-latitude low. Here's an example of that from March 21st this year, depicting multiple mesolows in the core of low pressure moving into California. Note they're orbiting one another and doing the Fujiwara. Now we step down and scale even more. Let's talk in the scale of individual supercell thunderstorms. Mesocyclones are low pressure systems associated with the storm's rotating updraft. A single supercell thunderstorm might have multiple mesocyclones, or areas of spin. Often one dies as the other forms to the south. We call this cycling. Other times, a mesocyclone cyclone might have multiple tornadoes pennant from it. Tornadoes themselves are smaller, even more intense areas of low pressure. And within tornadoes, you guessed it, smaller areas of low pressure. They're like mini tornadoes. We call them subvortices, and they orbit a common center within the broader tornado. One time, I even actually spotted multiple vortices in a gust nado. So what happened on Wednesday night? Well, we had a number of rotating supercells along the H.E. Bailey Turnpike southwest of Oklahoma City. This one passed over the National Weather Center in Norman. Around 7.30 p.m., a tornado ravaged a number of structures in and around Cole in McLean County, just southwest of Norman. Here you see a little blue splotch where radar detected the irregular shapes of debris being lofted into the air by the twister. That tornado was rated an F3, but ended up making a sharp left turn, heading northward and sparing the town of Goldsby. That's when things got really weird in terms of deviant motion. We had three circulations all begin to orbit one another as two supercells began to dance around a common center. Look at the red against green rotational couplets here. There are so many, it's tough to keep track. Now watch one circulation go through the town of Pink, then another one forms, and then a third develops. A second one passes over Pink and then intensifies en route to Shawnee. Here you can see one hook echo eaten by the next on approach to Shawnee. Meteorologist Raven Vasquez used radar data to plot the potential paths of tornadoes. You can see the left motion as each one curves north late in its life cycle. During the height of the episode, four tornado warnings overlapped. The National Weather Service in Norman tweeted, quote, do not anticipate storm motion, seek shelter now, because they were struggling to keep up too. The storms were going in every which direction and tornadoes were going north, south, east, and west. Now, it's not the first time something like this has happened. Happened. On the night of May 4th last year, a tornado traced a perfect loop near Earlsboro, Oklahoma, before a new tornado touched down southeast of it. That was some cycling action with potential Fujiwara-esque behavior. That also happened on the evening of June 3rd, 1980 in Grand Island, Nebraska. The first of seven tornadoes made a loop-de-loop. -loop. Three of the tornadoes actually spun clockwise, which is very rare in the northern hemisphere. Tornadoes can also merge too, partly due to similar cycling and or Fujiwara behavior. It happened in South Carolina, for example, on April 13, 2020. At one point, four tornadoes were on the ground at the same time in a line. The northern two exhibited the merger. Two others did it over the Texas Panhandle on March 13, 2021. And a pair of circulations merged during a tornado outbreak on Long Island on November 13, 2021 as well. Most of the time, tornadoes behave, but when you're dealing with something so monstrous, oftentimes they don't, and you have to give them a healthy respect. That's why it's imperative, no matter which way a tornado is going, if you're in a tornado warning, you have to seek shelter then, there, and in a site-built location. Follow My Radar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. 
Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.